They're going to bring it on in and around. It's fumbled. Fumbled by Miller, and he'll be covered up back at the 39. Hey, some magic about to happen. Some magic about to happen. Hello and welcome back to Living 757. I have the distinct pleasure of being here via Skype with former Ocean Lakes Dolphins player who is now headed to the Super Bowl after only his second year in the NFL as a member of the Kansas City Chiefs. Derek Nottie, thank you and welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, man. I'm glad to be here. Now, I spoke to you, I think, like seven years ago. Um, when I was working for Scout.com and you were still in high school, my how times have changed, huh? Oh, best believe that. <laughs> yeah. So growing up here in Hampton Roads, how do you feel like it influenced your game growing up in a place where so many amazing athletes came out of? Well, for starters, you have a lot of dudes that really influenced your life. For me, um, in high school, I was around a lot of future NFL players from Shamarco Thomas, Eli Harrell, Justin Hunter. And having that type of, uh, let's say, flow around me, type of people that are trying to do better in life, it just wanted me to do that much better as well. It made me put a lot more effort in all things that I do, regardless if it's on the field or in the classroom. All right. Now, fast forward a few years after high school, you played for the Florida State Seminoles, but I want to talk about draft day. How did it feel when you received that phone call? Honestly, I was already a little nervous because like, if you looked at the video uh, that I had out, that you would see me with a big old towel about on the left side of me. Everybody just looking, seeing if I'm going to get called yet. Phone rings. Like, just sitting on the table. I had everything just stops. It's like I'm in just floating in space in a sense. Grab the phone. I don't hear anything. Like, nothing's going through my ears besides, oh, hi, this is so something from the Kansas City Chiefs. And after that, Everything else was a blur. I was just like, oh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. After that, I was, I, was, I couldn't really say anything after that. Then uh, the phone call was over. They're like, who, who was that? Who was that? I can't say a word. <laughs> I see him on the TV. I see him on the TV screen. I was like, that's the right there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was just so much emotion going through me. I can't, I can't even speak any sentences, man. So you kind of blacked out a little bit. Pretty much. <laughs> you know what? I would have blacked out, too, so I totally get it. Uh, can you describe the feeling for me of being at home in Arrowhead and then bringing the AFC Championship back to Kansas City? And this is the first trip to the Super Bowl for them in 50 years. Yes, it is. One thing about Arrowhead, um, if you had to describe it in one word, it is loud. Like, why am I even by loud? Our home field advantage can sometimes be a disadvantage. Like, so be times you can't hear what your your teammate's saying right next to you. Like, it's that loud, ridiculously loud. But at the same time, having all those fans cheering for us, it's something, it really gets you going sometimes. I love, I love every time I step foot in it. And we had a video clip at the beginning of the segment from when you were mic'd up on December 26th. Can you describe that game when you were mic'd up a little bit? You said there's some magic that's about to happen. Man, I don't even remember what game that was. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but uh, but knowing me, like I just I always say anything to get any positive energy in the air. Just make sure if you hear positive, any type of positive, any type of positivity, you're bound to do something that's positive. Whether it's the offense on the field doing something or we on defense, you keep that type of positive flow in the air. Things are gonna start sparking. Absolutely. I love positive vibes. Now, you're just in your second season in the NFL, and you're headed to the big game in Miami. Two years ago, would you have pictured this being your life? Um, yes, actually. I did, like, going to the league, I was like, yeah, I, I see myself going to the Super Bowl at least uh, two times. I was like, that's my really big goal for my whole career, go to the Super Bowl two times and win them. Um well, again, started like I came here with aspirations of Canada Super Bowl because, like me, personally, I've never been a champion of anything from middle school, high school, or college. So that's the, the one, the only goals I really want out of my whole career. You are 23 years old, and you are going to the Super Bowl, which some guys in the Hall of Fame never even got to do. So that's really, really cool. <laughs> Man, in the Hall of Fame, they got better than me. 
Oh yeah, I mean, you'll probably end up there too. You're young, you have a lot of years to keep going. Fingers so, crossed, man, fingers crossed. So how excited are you to head to Miami for Super Bowl 54? Huh. I, bro, what, what's up, what's up? Oh. Well, okay, well, well, hello, this is my dog, this is my other, one of my dogs, Saint. Hey, buddy. Oh, you don't, you don't want to be bothered? All right, I see. Either way. Everybody um, wants to be a star, right? Playing football. All right, well, here he is. Bro, what? What? <laughs> what? You know what? I'm not even going to deal with you. Get me. There we go. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Goodbye, buddy. Like. All right, well, playing Super Bowl, Miami is going to be really exciting. Uh, a lot of my old fans from college become our another going to probably be rooting for me, as well as my old teammates. And being in somewhat what I call my third home, because I spent about four years in the state of Florida, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. Can't wait. Well, good luck, and we will certainly be cheering for you <laughs> in the big game. Thank you.